Welcome to ESL Fun Podcast. This is a show for teachers, parents, schools, or language learning centers. It's all about ESL fun activities. And our goal here is to bring you activities, fun activities, that you can bring to your students. We offer for endless posts and videos on this channel, so stay posted, read the post below. So have you ever struggled with a student out of control? Have there ever been run out of activities and your students become unmanageable? Yes, yes, yes. So stop. First, identify the problem. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two, make a comprehensive list of the problems that you have. So, I've got a problem child, I've got a problem classroom, here are the problems. Identify them and share by all of your students despite their individual levels. So, you need to pick out if he's a visual learner or if he's an audio learner and which students are having the problems and it's that simple. Once you have that, then we put together a classroom lesson plan filled with fun activities. So, well, that's exactly what we're going to help you with through this show. Solutions and ideas geared to ESL fun activities for managing a classroom. So let's get started. So here is a collection of the top four solutions and 11 ESL fun activities to maintain classroom management that you can add to your teacher's right, tool belt today. Let's get started. Right, let's get started. Lead, lead by example. So you want to call to action with a warm up game. So whatever you do, the students will do. So lead with example. Home to school game, I call this. Uh, or just simple warm up game. Practice what they have learned yesterday. And uh, that's a great way to get things started. Also, write. Write them on the board or in a song and what your expectations are while placing them on the board behind you. In K4, the matching game works well on this thing. Uh, so I use what we call a matching game. It's great to and be creative, uh, but you can do whatever you want. You can do the matching game or you can do the blackboard, but write it down. Show them what you want done. Uh, have it physically in their hands. Talk. Uh, so ask the students for feedback. If they're little ones, then you can't really do that. But they'll give you in, uh, indications of what they want. So lead, write, and talk. So uh, mentioned in our ebook, ESL for Fun, Call to Action. Uh, we use a song, a phrase, a clap, a whistle can bring participation in order to a class. Students love playing along. Solution number two, engage. Be positive and start a roll call. Use roll call to engage. Uh, we do this with the little ones, uh, kindergarten to fourth. Uh, we ask each student to come up, introduce themselves. Hey, hi, good morning, my name is Coco. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, maybe three lessons at the most, but at the sixth lesson, seventh lesson, they're coming up, they're going, uh, is Coco here? And they go, yeah, Coco, I'm here, is Coco, here's Coco. And then they come up and they run up and they go, my name is Coco, good morning. And they just love it, it's a game to them. So that is a wonderful game to play with the little ones. For the older ones, roll call could be as simple as playing the game as well, uh, finding out who's here, but also play it as a game uh, and put their names underneath the seat. So that's a great game too. Okay, signal, point to good behavior. So if someone's doing a good thing, point to them. Little ones love stickers and also I do too. So uh, if you're older or younger, you can reward with stickers, reward with good example. Solution number three, play, be clever, and play a game. It could be any game. It could be uh, tic-tac-toe with sounds. Uh, so if you can just say, uh, you know, s snake, and then if you give, oh, tic-tac-toe is a great game with sounds. Uh, or the matching game again, uh, but these are just small games, so little games. Uh, you can look at the post. Every post I post is a different game every day, so check it out. Uh, switch activities. That is number two underneath solution number three. Switch activities every time. Don't be boring. Don't do the same thing every class. 
Um, if you do an activity and they're bored with it and they're, they're misbehaving, switch into a new activity. Have a backup plan. That brings me to groups and team ups. Groups and team ups are totally different. Uh, remember, the difference between a team and a group, teams are used to moderate behavior and groups are for letting off steam. Uh, both used to learn valuable lessons. But let's get to teams. So team, team up. Ask other team members to help each other out. This is a teacher-student activity and they love this game. Uh, they love to help uh, play teacher and also play the student. Um, it's a great learning uh, role, role playing. Also groups. Again, as I mentioned, rotate them around the class. It moderates behavior, creating teamwork among their peers. If needed, don't be afraid to pause and ask questions while they're in the groups. So, use a game, poker chips. Here's the game you can use. Uh, you guys, this is why you stay tuned, is you wanna know what I can do uh, in a classroom or what activity we can play. So, poker chips, coins or stickers are a great way to reward great behavior when playing a game, but not necessarily tr uh, treats or something like that, um, where they'll want them all the time. When a student answers a question right away, they give or receive a chip. So I use stickers. Stickers are a great way. So how about 10 less questions than all the rewards you're given out? So for example, let's say you have 30 questions, or let's say 20 questions, let's say five questions. Well, have a third questions less than what you're going to expect. So if you have 20 stickers, let's say, and you have 10 students, um, you're, you don't want to have 20 questions or 10, sti 10 questions, 20 questions. You only want to give out 10 stickers. So have about 10 less questions than all the rewards you're giving out. The student with the most stickers or least amount of chips wins. So again, the student with the most stickers or least amount of chips wins. All right, let's go to step, uh, solution number four. Um, I see Betty S. just chimed in from the United States. Thank you, Betty. Uh, yeah, it's a game changer for sure. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I love the, the, the phrase that she used. It's a game changer. All right, so backup game. Solution number four, backup game. Just in case you lose control over your class, I call it escape. So is only use when you lose control completely. Like I have once lost control and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do and I froze. So it is when you depleted all your plans and the switch game didn't work neither. So go back to the call to action. The call to action, you can get it in my ESL call to action book. There's 12 activities to call to action. But if you didn't get the book, Real simple, here's one call to action. So you train the students in the very first class that you have with them. And you train them to listen to the clap. And in the lessons to come, when they hear the clap, they will then come back and listen for that clap and they'll quiet down. It's like meditation hour. So a simple, quick, out of sync, soft claps to gain control of the class once again. Young and old love this activity or game. Again, thank you Betty S. from the United States. Is one of my patrons and she says it is a game changer for her. So she says that when used consistently and reinforced at the beginning of each class, it becomes a game and the kids love to play along. Thanks, Betty. Yeah, it does. It's uh, thank you for your feedback. We love feedback like this. Our channel is thrives on supporters like you and feedback like this. It, uh, it gives us new ideas to work with and also a message uh, to give to you guys as well. Um, so again, this is our end subscribe. Okay, click subscribe button below and follow along. Uh, become a patron. Uh, there's another button for that. Become a patron for as little as $2 a month for less than a cup of coffee or a 
big pencil, uh, you can help us keep this channel open. But uh, both buttons will deliver the same content. Uh, patrons will access to patron-only updates, plus receive eBooks such as ESL Fun and our 12 activities to call to action, uh, plus our one-time shout-out at the end of the shows on our channels. Also, they receive a Q&A and a Lens. Uh, lens is just a private channel to my patrons. It's just me and them. It's just me and you. Uh, so when you become a patron, you can have a Q&A with me uh, and see what works in our classrooms here. It is a one-time behind-the-scenes glimpse of my life here as a teacher teaching in China, in Thailand or the Philippines. So I don't publish anywhere else on the internet. So thank you for listening. Special out, uh, shout out goes to this week's supporters. Thank you to Reverend Cynthia Alice at Christ Church Unity for your support. Uh, your endless support uh, is I'm speechless because you have supported me over the years and you're my very first patron, so thank you. Uh, thank you, Herc, uh, from Toronto, Canada. Your friendship and confidence in me is, um, is I, I'm speechless again. Thank you again uh, and watching them, uh, and allowing me to help others grow, inspire them. Um, and a special thanks to Betty S. from the United States. Your endless feedback gives us new ideas to add to our shows. When we reach $100 per month, we will help with video equipment. And our second goal will be $250. And this will be publishing license for our new book, ESL Fun Book, to hit the shelves in 2019. Next episode, we'll be demonstrating which activities are best during certain lessons very important. Uh, do you want to play the match game when doing new vocabulary or do you want to do the sound cards when doing new vocabulary? Hmm. So be sure to hit like and subscribe, like and subscribe or vice versa. And if you want endless game-changing ideas, send us to your doorstep. Uh, then you want to become a patron today. Until next week, travel lightly, my friends. Always remember the footprints you leave behind you are for those who follow. Happy New Year.